I was gonna marry you the day that I met you. <laughs> Whew! <laughs> and I'm not usually one that's believes in soulmates or fate of it or any of that, but when I met you, it was totally different. There was something very special about you, and in the moment I met you, I just knew. greatest accomplishment of my life and starting a family with you is the thing that I most look forward to so I can't wait to marry you tomorrow damn it <laughs> <laughs> studied and passed two rounds of boards, submitted 40 residency applications, interviewed at 15 separate residency locations, matched in residency in Charleston, South Carolina, graduated from medical school. And of course, planned this entire weekend, all while she was doing all of the above. I don't know anybody that could do all of that, so. She's a really special lady. I love you. I can't wait to marry you tomorrow. Brian and Abby have chosen you, those special and important to them, to witness and celebrate the beginning of their life together. Abby and Ryan met at Will's Northwoods Inn which is a bar in Chicago that I used to work at. And Abby came up to the bar and tells me that she's kind of into this bald guy. I said, fabulous, let's have a round of shots. Literally within minutes, they were kissing in the corner. So to everyone here, you're welcome. Um, I may not be the greatest bartender in the world, but that night I was really good at my job. <laughs> Abby, I remember when I was first introduced to the idea of you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to be funny. 
That's weirdly worded. <laughs> I remember when I was first introduced to the idea of you when I was returning home for the lake uh, for the 4th of July. Our family had all been so excited to be back for what is one of the best times to be at the lake uh, and all be together. After everyone settled in, I remember Ryan going one by one to each of us, letting us know that he would be leaving for the evening to see a girl named Abby. I remember my mom, Maddie, and myself all trying to keep our cool, <laughs> but deep down we were pissed. <laughs> Once we all calmed down and looking back, we realized that we were just jealous that Ryan was choosing to spend this time not with us, but with you, Abby. I also realized then how much you meant to him. In fact, just a few weeks before this, he had sent me a text that included, and I quote, I'm going to marry this girl. Every relationship goes through their trials and tribulations, but it's how you work through them that counts. They're so willing to communicate and put in the work to make sure that their love story lasts. And more importantly, they know how to make each other laugh, and that's going to ensure that they make it for the long haul. I'm tonight I'm supposed to be apprehensive or it's very difficult from what I heard to give your daughter away but I don't feel that at all tonight I feel very comfortable and I thought why am I feeling that way and it, it's because Ryan is one of the finest young men I've ever met in my life so welcome to our family Ryan we love you Jill and I are so pleased to welcome Abby to our family as our, as our new daughter-in-law She's smart, beautiful, and she's a doctor. <laughs> Ryan, you really married up. <laughs> With that, raise your glasses to Ryan and Abby. We love you. We know you'll be amazing together until long and wonderful life. Cheers. Cheers. Ryan. I truly meant it yesterday when I said I knew I was going to marry you the moment I met you. I can't wait to see you at the end of the aisle and get married in front of all of our friends and family. Love, Abby. I'm so lucky just to know you, but to be marrying you is more than I can put into words. I love you beyond measure and without end. I cannot wait to see you as the chapel doors open. You'll find me at the end of the aisle waiting for you always and forever.